Hello, hello, hello. Good evening to absolutely everyone. Today is a fantastic, a fabulous day. Y'all, I tell you, sometimes you got to clean your closet out. Sometimes you have to clean your closet out. Um, so today was the day I had set aside to make sure that I had, um, that I was cleaning out my closet. Hey Marie, thank you for joining me. So today was the day that I had set aside time that I was going to be just totally cleaning out my closet. And, um, I just knew I had prepared for it. I knew that that's what I wanted to do. And so, you know, when you have the intentions of doing something, you know, sometimes it always, hey, good, good evening. Sometimes there's always something else that would try to come and take that place, right? Um, and so I was determined. I was determined. I was determined. Hey, Kim, I was determined to get my closet clean uh, today. And that's literally what happened. I can use this as a metaphor in so many different ways. I'm actually um, waiting for some, some food. I went to get some food. And let me tell you this. There's two, th two points I want to make on this. When you are determined to do something, yeah, I know. I, I, I Listen, I had all kinds of stuff going on today, y'all. <laughs> hey, Yoli. Uh, but when you are determined and you've made up your mind to do something, don't let anything, don't let anyone distract you. No matter who it is, no matter if it's family, no matter if it's, um, you know, someone very close to you. When you have made up in your mind that you're going to accomplish a thing, that's when a lot of other stuff starts coming before you. You know, so you may have somebody say, oh, you know, can you help me do this? Or, oh, you know, what about this? Or what's your opinion about this? Or can you look at this particular information? Nobody asked me to do any of that until I had made up in my mind today, y'all, that I was going to be cleaning out my closet. And so it took me seven hours that's right, Yoli. Distraction is a killer. That's, let me tell you, today I got, almost got distracted on, sometimes it's little things. So I started out just taking my clothes out and I started looking in, you know, purses, you know, and I was like, wow, I had this in the purse and, you know, I didn't find no money in the purse. <laughs> But I started looking in my purse and I started seeing certain things. And it was like 20 minutes later and I'm still looking in this purse. And I'm like, what am I doing? I got distracted, Yoli. I got distracted. And so even when, our, when you have times in your life where you get distracted, you can get back focused. You can come back. And realize that this is not what I'm supposed to be doing. This is not what I said I was going to be doing. And bring yourself back to focus. And so I end up having to do that. So if there are things in your life where you knew that you were going to do one thing. And then all of a sudden you started going through and looking at details. Sometimes that happens when we're online too. You know, whenever we're looking, trying to look up a certain video and then all of a sudden all this other stuff is coming up in your timeline and you're like, oh, wow, that's interesting. And you'll find yourself um, <laughs> hijacked is what I call it. You'll find yourself hijacked and it's been an hour and you don't know that you've been hijacked, right? And so tonight I just want to say to stay focused. Stay focused on what you know that you need to do. Stay focused on what business you know that you're going to be implementing. Stay focused on the curriculum. Stay focused on your family. Stay focused on your marriage. Whatever it is, whatever the new um, endeavor, stay focused on what you said that you were going to accomplish. Hey, Nia, because let me tell you, as structured as I am, and my husband tells me all the time, you're like, you are very structured. I am very structured and it's out of necessity for me. Um, and that's just who I am. And, um, 
it works for me. It's, it, it works for me. Um, today was a very interesting <laughs> moment. And so it took me seven hours to clean out my entire closet. Thank God my husband and I do not share a closet um, because it would have took me three days to get it done if that would have been the case. But um, seven hours, seven hours is a long time. But at the end of the seven hours, I cleaned out every purse. I moved shoes. I had three bags of greatness that I attempted to give the way to the goodwill and that's the reason why in my 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 vehicle I attempted to give it away to the goodwill and then by the time I got to the goodwill they had closed 30 minutes prior to but I'm not disturbed I'm not distracted I'm not discouraged because tomorrow I will be going to the goodwill and dropping these great goodies off to someone that I'm hoping will be able to um, utilize them. So for women that are looking to be in corporate America, man, I'm telling you, I, I'm telling you, pencil skirts. I did not realize I had so many black pencil skirts, y'all. Um, and that's another thing we could talk about too. Sometimes you already have enough. Oh, shoot. Hey, y'all, I think my phone is about to go out. But sometimes you already have enough of something and you don't even know that you've got enough of something because you still keep buying the same same thing. So I am done with that. I have uh, evolved. Um, I was a scarf wear. People that know me know that I used to wear scarves with everything. A, every color scarf, I had it. And I gave away. Let me tell you how many scarves I gave away today. I gave away 72 scarves. Did you hear what I said? <laughs> 72 scarves. I am evolving. I am evolving and it's a great thing. So I hope that you have a fantastic, fantastic day. If it takes you seven hours to do something, to get it done, as long as, I hope you can see me because I see my screen has kind of gone, gone dark um, and I don't have my charger because I thought I was going to be going in and going out. But as long as you are determined to get a thing done, it will happen through all the stuff through all the clothes through all the shoes i can't even tell you um i probably gave away i don't know maybe 15 pair of shoes and i really don't have a lot of shoes and i actually don't have a lot of clothes but sometimes when you are transitioning you have to give away some stuff that's really great quality because some other great quality is coming to you. And so that's what happened today that in your aspect of, of, of transitioning in your life, in your aspect of transitioning in your career and your aspect of your dreams and aspiration transitioning, then it also means you as a human being that you are transitioning. If I go out, y'all, it's okay because I see I only have about 4% on my phone, but I just want to encourage somebody. Sometimes you have to get rid of some of the stuff that we're so used to be doing and get rid of some of that stuff that's that, that you're so easily um, attracted to as far as like materialistic things and get rid of some of that old stuff y'all listen that's a word for somebody get rid of some of that old stuff it's still good it's still pliable it's still tangible it still looks good but sometimes you just got to get rid of it because you are going to another level in your life god is taking you to another stage in your life so all that um uh, so whatever that is, for me, it was clothes and shoes and purses and all kind of briefcases. I can't tell you how many briefcases or like bags that I had. And so I just really am blessed to know that somebody is going to be tremendously blessed from all of that, uh, all of those accessories, all those things, because God is getting ready. He is doing right now a new thing, a new thing. And that's what at Marie's life. And I'm very, very excited about it. So out with the old in with the new. I'm not talking about your husband. I'm not talking about your wife. I'm not talking about your children. <laughs> I'm not saying that. But when you have things that you know that do not serve you, that's what God just said to me. If it no longer serves you, let it go, beloved. 
just let it go. Yes, it's still great. It still smells like leather. It's still in great condition. That's good because you want to give that to someone else. Don't give people things that you know that you don't want. It's tore or got a, anything that, listen, if it no longer serves you and it could serve someone else, give it away. Just give it away. So I hope that this word really inspires you to clean out your closet, whatever that looks like, um, and to give unto others. But also, if it no longer serves you, let it go. Let it go and let it go. This is Antoinette Marie. Um, I hope that you have a fabulous, fabulous um, the rest of your weekend. And as always, if you have a husband or a wife, hug on them. Let them know that they are very important to you. And if you have your children, let your children know that they are essential to you and to your life span. They are e essential to you and your lifespan. And I will speak to you very, very soon. Be well. Take care. Bye.